In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how you can set up weight-based shipping on your WooCommerce store. So what you need to do for this, we need to install a plugin for this. So we can go to the dashboard of our site, just like that. And then we have to go to plugins and hit add new. And we have to install a free plugin. Whoops, not right here. We can just type it in here, flexible shipping, just like that. So this is a plugin that allows us to um, basically yeah, basically create flexible shipping, weight-based and price-based. So let's install this and wait for it to activate. Yes, there we go. So now what we can do, we have to go to WooCommerce, Settings, Shipping, and now we can set shipping options. So as you can see, I don't have a zone yet, so I'm going to add a shipping zone and I'm going to name it uh, the Netherlands. That's where I live. And the zone will be in the Netherlands as well. And then we can add a shipping method, which will be flexible shipping. And this option is available be but because we have just installed the plugin. And then you want to hit add shipping. And there we go. We have successfully set it up. So now we can actually edit this to however we want. We can hit edit. And we can change the method title. So we can change this to weight based shipping. Uh, the method description you can add that if you want all the information here isn't really relevant this is all personal preferences like uh, text status and any everything like that whoops let's get rid of this we don't need the pro version and uh, this is this is good the free version uh, what we can do here we have to change the condition to if we want if you want to be on price based or weight based and we of course want to say weight and we want to add one and add another one and what we can do right now, we can choose the uh, amount. So let's say from zero to one is a shipping cost of $5. And then from 1.01 to uh, two is eight. And we can do the same thing right here. Three will be 10, for example. Then we can hit save changes. And as you can see, now it's set up. So you have to give um, the actual weight also to your products. So make sure you don't leave that blank because then all the, um, basically all the shipping costs will be five because it, it will all say zero. But how you can do that is basically go to all your products, just like that. And then find, for example, the green hoodie, hit edit. Then we want to find shipping and add the weight right here. So let's say this thing is 0 0.5 kilograms. We can hit update and then we can go to the product ex itself to show how it looks like. We can add to cart. So let's get rid of the old one. Uh, here it is. Um, now we can proceed to checkout. And as you can see, the shipping uh, will appear when our address is filled in. So we have to do the Netherlands. And as you can see, weight based shipping is $5. And if we add another one, let's see if we can do that right here. No, we have to go back. Let's add another one or another two. And if we hit update, you can see that it's now $8. And that's exactly what we set it to. So now if we will go over the two, so for example, four, I guess, no, five then. Yeah, as you can see, now it's changed to $10. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe, and see you next time. Have a good day.